Hey guys, it's Jules. So today I'm going to be teaching you 10 really awesome ways that you can integrate common household products into your beauty regime or improve your beauty regime with things that you might already have lying around. So let's get started. If you want your lashes to look longer and thicker, you can uh, apply one coat of mascara, then using a Q-tip, apply a thin coat of baby powder to your top and lower lashes, apply a second coat of mascara, and you will see instant length added to your eyelashes. If you are somebody who has ever gotten a spray tan or a fake tan or given yourself a fake tan, you know the biggest problem that you run into is streaking. When streaks of color run down your legs, they usually gather around the ankles or maybe at the elbows or spots where you bend and move and um, they just look streaky and uneven and it's a dead giveaway that you've gotten a tan. Well, here is how you can fix this at home. If you have a magic eraser, one of those Mr. Clean magic erasers, you just dampen it and squeeze it out as you do and rub it over the spot where you have self-tanner streaks and they will go away and your tan will be even and perfect and beautiful. This is sort of a fun one. You can use a band-aid to make perfect polka dots and nail art on your nails. Um, basically all that you do is take the perforated side of a band-aid with all those little holes in it and you place it down onto the nail after you've applied your base coat and it has dried. Apply the perforated side of the band-aid and then paint a second color on top of it. Wait about 30 seconds and then lift off the band-aid and it will make these perfect little polka dots like this. If you would like to keep your razors not only clean, but sharper, longer, you can clean your razor or dip your razor or leave it in vodka. It will just keep the blade sharp and it'll keep the razor clean. I'm not a scientist and I can't explain why, but it works. If you were like me, somebody who gets a little oily in the T-zone area, then you are probably already friends with those oil absorbing strips, which are very effective, but also kind of costly. You can actually use coffee filters the same exact way you blot it down over your oily zones in your face and you'll see the oil come right off. Another fun fact, you can do this with toilet seat covers in bathrooms as well. The waxy side that you're supposed to put against the toilet, you just push onto your face in the oily zones not after you've used it, obviously. And it'll do the same thing. It'll take all the oil off your face. It's pretty cool. So if you have a little bit of dead dry skin on your lips, as we often do, especially around now in the winter time in the cold, you can just take a couple pieces of scotch tape and put them over each lip and peel off and all that dead skin will come off nice, clean and easy. Um, of course, don't do this if you have like bleeding dry chapped lips but if everything is relatively good feel free to have at it this is something i've been doing for a while you can use your hair conditioner in lieu of shaving cream um, it doesn't lather obviously but it provides a really nice protective barrier onto whatever part of your body you're shaving just like shaving cream and it's moisturizing and it smells really nice. So never fear if you run out of shaving cream, you don't have to run around with hairy armpits, you can just use your conditioner. So baking soda has so many uses around the household. I should probably just make an entire baking soda video actually. But one of the ways that you can use it for beauty purposes is to whiten your teeth with it. And all you need to do is sprinkle some baking soda on top of your toothpaste and toothbrush and brush your teeth with it. And you will see actually pretty quick uh, whitening effects on your teeth. <music> Oatmeal is an awesome thing to eat for breakfast. It's very healthy, it's full of fiber, it keeps you full for a long time uh, and digests slowly. It's just a really good thing for you. It's good for your heart, cholesterol. Uh, you can also use it to soothe irritated skin in a bath. So whether you have dry skin or eczema or you have a lot of bug bites or just something that needs to be soothed, anything that needs soothing on your skin, if you put one to two cups of oatmeal into your bath, it will create sort of a gelatinous film in the bath water that will stick to your skin and it will literally cure 
any skin ailment that you have. Last but not least, this was actually one that I learned today. My friend Betsy Landon, she's an awesome, beautiful actress who I met on the movie Dolphin Tail. You should check her out. Today, Betsy taught me how to thin out mascara that was really like clumpy by using contact solutions, solution for your contact lenses. I'm gonna digress. I went to Sephora and I got a brand new mascara and I don't know if the bottle had been like used already or what, but it just seems like it was off. Like it was so clumpy and bad and I want to go talk to them at Sephora before I give this mascara a bad rap but like it was really bad from the second I opened the bottle so today I showed it to Betsy and she was like oh no problem check this out so she took her contact solution and she poured it in the bottle like just filled up the rest of the bottle with it and you know like shook, shook around the um, wand and when I took it out to put on my mascara it was like perfectly smooth mascara it was awesome. So that is the last thing on my top 10 list. I hope you guys have found this helpful and informative. I hope you already have some of these things in your house so you can start using them. If you have not done so already, feel free to subscribe to my channel down here. I post new videos pretty much every week. Also, you can give me a thumbs up below, leave comments, talk to each other, talk to me. I love you. I'll see you next time.